long before diesels were considered, steam locomotives were being rebuilt at the shops. One example is 440 number 73, which was built by the Hinckley Locomotive Works of Boston, Massachusetts in 1873. The locomotive was rebuilt at Claiborne Shops in 1897 into 280 number 933. During a system-wide renumbering in 1900, it was renumbered 643. The locomotive is currently on display at the Oklahoma Railway Museum. One of the first diesel locomotives rebuilt by Claiborne was nicknamed the Beep. Although officially, the locomotive was known as a SWBLW. It started life as a Baldwin V01000 switcher number 2220. In 1970, all of that changed when it was rebuilt with the long hood, engine, trucks, and electrical gear from a wrecked EMD GP7. The only original parts that were left on the locomotive were the cab and frame. During its career, it has carried the numbers 2450, 1160, and 1460. Its last assignment was as the shop switcher at Topeka, Kansas for the BNSF. It was retired in 2009 to the Western America Railroad Museum in Barstow, California, where it is currently on display. One interesting note is that the locomotive was never repainted in war bonnet paint. It retained its original Santa Fe pinstripe during its entire career. Between 1970 and 1980, while the CF7 program was going on, Claiborne was also rebuilding other types of locomotives at the shops. Although not to the degree of fabrication the CF7 program required. For example, in the GP30U and GP35U programs, some things that changed were smoke deflectors were added over the air filters, Electrical systems and engines were upgraded. Also, horsepower in the GP30 was increased from 2250 to 2500. With the GP7U and GP9U programs, a new low nose cab was fabricated in addition to engine and electrical upgrades. Also during this time, Claiborne was working with San Bernardino to create a series of yard and hump slugs for the railroad. The largest rebuild program undertaken by the shops was the CF7 or converted F7. In the 1960s, Santa Fe had a shortage of medium horsepower branch line and secondary mainline locomotives. Meanwhile, they had an abundance of older F-type locomotives that were not good for switching due to their design. Buying new locomotives was not an option at the time, and no one wanted the F units because of their older engine design, age, and mileage. The railroad decided to look for a facility that could rebuild the F units into something useful. Mr. Charles W. Kramer, Claiborne superintendent, sent a letter to upper management that stated his shop could do the job. F7 262C was sent down to be converted. One big issue was that in the F type locomotive, the body and frame are integrated, so if you cut the body, the frame may sag. To overcome this, the Claiborne shop forces used a 24-inch I-beam 
to strengthen the frame. The original trucks, traction motors, engine and electrical systems were all upgraded and reused. The first batch of locomotives even reused the F unit cab so that the only parts that had to be made were the frame, nose, and long hood. But on later units, the round cab was replaced with a fabricated angled cab. After the CF7 program ended in the late 70s, Claiborne managed to keep busy. The Santa Fe's GP20 locomotives got engine and electrical upgrades and the GP38 and 39 locomotives got electrical upgrades. The next big project for Claiborne Shops was the SF30 program, which consisted of modifying the road's existing U36C locomotives. The railroad used C30-7 body kits supplied by General Electric. They also upgraded the engines and electricals. One interesting note on these units is although the engines were upgraded with new parts, the overall horsepower was lowered from 3,600 to 3,000. During the SF-30C program, the railroad experimented with building a SF-30B using wrecked U-23B 6332 as a start point. The locomotive featured a new nose, engine, radiator section, and upgraded electricals. The horsepower was upgraded from 2300 to 3000. The unit is still operating as Minnesota Commercial Railroad number 42. The last Santa Fe unit rebuilt by Claiborne Shops was GP39U number 3449, outshopped in 1987. If you enjoy our videos, click the like button, ring that notification bell, subscribe to this channel, join our Facebook and Twitter pages, and keep up with what's going on. You can also help keep this train moving by becoming a Patreon supporter. Links are in the description.